the overseas company that will manufacture the UK's post-Brexit blue passport scored top marks for cybersecurity during the tendering process, Downing Street has said as it tries to deflect continued criticism of the decision. Some Conservative MPs reacted with anger to the news that the Franco-Dutch firm Genelato had won the contract for the passports, with the UK company De La Rue losing out. On Friday, a debate in the Lords on the decision brought further condemnation. The Labour peer Lord Folk said the decision should be reviewed, in the name not just of security, but of national pride. The Conservative Lord Naseby said the government should realise the decision would have a huge adverse effect on the whole of British industry and the British people as they face Brexit, as he called for a review. Number 10 responded to the criticism on Thursday by stressing that choosing Gemilata, which has not been formally named as the winner amid a 10-day window for legal challenges after the decision, would save about £120 million over the five-year contract. This did not stop the Daily Mail from leading its Friday edition with a front-page story about a supposed wave of fury about the decision, and an editorial, also beginning on page one, which asked why those who made the decision hate our country. Theresa May's spokesman said ministers expect to stick to the decision, even if De La Rue does protest during the 10-day period. During that time bidders are given the opportunity to legally challenge that decision, but we feel the chosen company demonstrated that they would be best able to meet the needs of our passport service, he said. We needed a high-quality and secure product which gets the best value for money for the taxpayer. Asked about security, May's spokesman said, the preferred bidder demonstrated that they meet all government cyber security standards. Those will continue to be further tested and assessed during implementation. The Home Office will have more details, but I understand they scored full marks for their IT and security solutions, and all facilities meet the required standards for information security. Asked whether, as the mail alleged, those who made the decision to hate their country, the spokesman said, that's simply not true. The government is working to get the best deal for the British taxpayer, both on this and more widely. Although Gemilato has not been formally named as the winning company, the Home Office has said the choice of contractor would lead to the creation of about 70 jobs at Fareham in Hampshire and Hayward in Lancashire. One of Gemilato's five current UK outposts is in Fareham. On Thursday, Matt Hancock, the Culture Secretary, sought to blame EU regulations on procurement. He said, there is an irony, which is these rules are European rules and we're going to be leaving the European Union and then we may be able to, if we choose to, set out our own procurement rules. 